I thought I was a pretty brave kind of guy, you know. Not someone who's scared of that much and I can deal with heights and small spaces and, you know, I'm pretty cool with spiders. But the other day, I was about to be shown that there was something that I was pretty damn scared of. Are you okay? It wasn't quite that dramatic, but yes, I did faint, and I woke up on the floor with a nurse over me saying, are you okay? So after kind of fainting um, and not feeling good a couple of times kind of around needles, I thought, you know what, I'm actually going to find out a little bit about fear and about the fear of needles. So what I've done is I've kind of done a bit of research and kind of talked to other people and kind of my own experiences, and I guess kind of I've put together a little kind of, a bit of kind of stuff, which uh, I'm going to share with you guys. So I guess with fear, you've kind of got two types. So you've got rational fear and irrational fear. I guess a ra rational fear is in a way, is kind of positive. It actually keeps us safe. It's kind of like that fight or flight instinct. It's kind of human instinct. Uh, yeah, and it can keep us safe. And then irrational fear, I guess, is stuff that has no basis to it. And it's stuff that we kind of create up in our mind. So I guess that kind of fear of needles is a bit of a mixture of rational and irrational. And I guess the rational because kind of be, having been scared of stuff being stuck in us keeps you safe staying away from that keeps you safe and that comes from evolution and then I guess the irrational part is actually having injection stuff is good for you and there's no harm in it uh, and it's really important to keep you safe and keep you healthy so I guess yeah that bit of it is irrational so yeah I guess it's a mixture the more we let fear make decisions for us the more control we give it the harder it is going to be to overcome it so it's about seeing seeing that fear and going do you know what I want to overcome that and it's about doing that. A really great way to overcome fear is actually by rationalising it and thinking is this a rational fear or an irrational fear? Is having this fear in my head actually going to keep me safe or is it just holding me back? And basically I think with needles and stuff like for instance in my case I could say oh no I'm scared of needles, I'm scared of needles and that could stop me going on my expedition and actually I could say do you know what? Oh no no stick it in me, I'm going to get over this, I'm going to overcome this, have my ejections and yeah, by rationalising and thinking, do you know what, it's not that bad, you can overcome it. And I guess, yeah, it's sometimes it's about remembering that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger. About having a needle, it's not going to kill me, but it's going to make me stronger. Not by just, you know, healthy stronger, but also it makes me stronger at myself knowing, do you know what, I can actually overcome stuff. Okay guys, so I'm literally just off to get my second load uh, of uh, travel vax, uh, but I'm a bit apprehensive. Uh, hopefully I won't faint this time. Uh, let's, see how, let's see how it goes. There we go. All good. Um, and I didn't faint, so I don't know. Maybe I've got over it. Um, so that's one short Surviving 5 video. But, uh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> so I think I've overcome that fear of needles, but it doesn't mean that I now love needles. Um, every time I still go for a vaccine, I still dread it and I'm still like, oh no. But I've managed to think, Do you know what? It's going to be fine. I'm, I'm going to be fine. And remember that motto of mine that what doesn't kill you makes you stronger.